In this problem, we have a robotic arm that's fixed to the orange base at A. It's got two components, AB and BC, and they're being rotated by motors at the joints. We're being asked to find the velocity and acceleration of the end effector C. So we're going to write down what we know in this problem. We know that the velocity at A and the acceleration at A are both zero because A is fixed to the ground. So it's a pin fixed to the ground. We're given that the angular velocity of AB is five rads per second in the k-hat and the angular acceleration of AB is 0 0.2 rads per second squared in the k-hat. Now for this other set of angular accelerations and angular velocities, we have to be careful to figure out whether they are absolute values. So an observer sitting on our fixed coordinate system at A would see this rotation of BC or whether they're relative to the first arm AB. And in this case, we're told in the problem they're described with respect to the fixed frame. So they are absolute values. So we can write that omega BC is three rads per second in the k-hat and alpha BC is minus two rads per second square in the k-hat. We can also write our position vectors. So R of B with respect to A is going to be three feet in the i hat and r c with respect to b is going to be two times cos 30 i hat minus sine 30 j hat feet. Okay, now we're ready to step through and find our equations to solve for the motion of c. Now we're going to go kind of from the place we know, which is A, to the next step, which is B, and then go from B to C. So we'll write an equation for velocity of B. That's going to be equal to velocity of A plus omega AB cross R B with respect to A. We know the velocity of A is zero. So we're just left with the relative uh, velocity term. Now we can write the velocity of C, that's the velocity of B, plus omega BC cross RC with respect to B. So we can substitute in VB and we get our full equation omega AB cross RB with respect to A plus omega BC cross R, C with respect to B. So now we're going to uh, put in those vectors and do our cross products and find our, find our answer. So this is 5 rads per second in the k-hat crossed by 3 feet in the i-hat plus 3 rads per second in the k-hat crossed by 2 cos i-hat sorry, cos 30 i hat minus 2 sine 30 j hat feet. So let's do out those cross products. That gives us 15 feet per second. K cross positive i is j hat plus 6 cos 30 feet per second in the j hat as well, k cross i, plus 6 sine 30 feet per second in the i hat. So a k cross minus j is a positive i. So we collect these together and we can write vc equals 3 i hat plus 20.2 j hat feet per second. And that's the velocity of our end effector here at c. So now we're going to move on to the acceleration equations. 
So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start at A, find our acceleration of B, then find our acceleration of C when, when we're considering B, and then put them together. So we've got acceleration of B equals the acceleration of A plus alpha AB cross RB with respect to A minus the scalar omega AB squared RB with respect to A. We already know that uh, the acceleration of A is zero. Again, it's a pinned point. So we can set that to zero and we have our expression for the acceleration of B. Then we can say the acceleration of C is the acceleration of B plus alpha, alpha BC cross R C with respect to B minus omega BC squared, the scalar, RC with respect to B. So we'll sub in what we know is the acceleration of B and we get alpha AB cross RB with respect to A minus omega AB, the scalar squared, RB with respect to A plus alpha BC cross RC with respect to B minus omega BC squared, the scalar, RC with respect to B. So we're, we know all of these, uh, all of these vectors and scalars that we've put into this equation. So we can sub them in and do our cross products and solve. So alpha AB is 0 0.2 rads per second squared in the K hat. And that's going to be crossed with three feet I hat. And then we have minus five rads per second, all squared, three feet I hat. And then we're going to have in our third term, minus two rads per second squared in the K hat crossed with two cos 30 I hat minus two sine 30 J hat. And our last term is minus uh, three rads per second, all squared, times two cos 30 I hat minus two sine 30 J hat. That's again, feet, feet. All right, so we can do these cross products. We're gonna end up with, in our first term, 0 0.6 feet per second squared, K cross I is J hat, minus 75 feet per second squared in the I hat, minus four cos 30 feet per second squared in the J hat, so K cross I is J hat, uh, minus four sine 30, feet per second squared in the I hat, okay, minus 18 cos 30 I hat plus, let's put the feet per second squared in there, cos 30 feet per second squared I hat plus 18 sine 30 feet per second squared J hat. And if we combine all these terms, so bring those I terms and J terms together, we find that the acceleration of point C is minus 92.6 I hat plus 6.1 J hat feet per second squared. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.